Hello, so in this video we are going to be summarizing chapter 10 of Jane Eyre. Uh, before we jump into it, please make sure to subscribe to this channel uh, so that you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And yeah, we'll jump into it. So, chapter 10. Um, after the outbreak of Typhus at Lowood School, the outbreak itself brought a lot of attention to how terribly uh, Mr. Brocklehurst was providing for the school. Um, and so ch uh, conditions changed dramatically because a new group of overseers are brought in to make sure that the conditions are actually healthy <laughs> for young growing girls. Um, and things just get so much better at the school. Uh, Jane excels there for the next six years and um, eventually becomes a teacher herself there. Now, um, this is kind of co covered pretty quickly because the main focus of this chapter is Jane actually leaving Lowood School um, or arranging things so that she can leave. Miss Temple um, gets married and leaves the school. And so Jane kind of decides, like, I don't want to spend the rest of my life here. And she advertises. So that means she just, like, essentially puts her name out there as someone who's looking for employment as a governess. Um, she accepts a position that is offered her by uh, Mrs. Fairfax at Thornfield Hall. So before leaving for Thornfield, her old maid, Bessie, um, visits her and just kind of updates her on the happenings at Gateshead. That's, um, you know, her childhood home. And tells her kind of what her cousins and her aunt have been up to. Um, her cousin, Georgiana, um, she tried to run away with this guy but that plan was messed up by her sister Eliza, um, by basically tattletelling John, the terrible uh, male cousin. He has just kind of sunk into a life of debauchery and um, just pointless spending and he's just what you can imagine. A, the young version of him would grow up to be as an adult, which is pretty shoddy. Um, and Bessie also tells Jane that her father's brother, John Eyre, so her paternal uncle, um, came to Gateshead about seven years ago looking for her. Um, but he left, he didn't stop by Lowood, um, he didn't really seemed to know that he was looking for Jane and you kind of get the sense that if he had been told where Jane was he would have gone there so we can assume that he was not told where Jane was um but family was looking for her and family that was not the Reed house um and her uncle John Eyre went back to Madeira um and I think that's all kind of the important stuff that you need to know. So Jane and Bessie part ways and Jane heads off to this new life that awaits her as a governess at Thornfield Hall. Um, I feel like there was something else. Oh, there was also this little part where Bessie was talking to Jane and she was basically telling her that she's proud of how accomplished she is. Um, she was never a great beauty and still isn't something along those lines. Uh, but, you know, like, good job on being so accomplished. So you still have this moment of like, wow, the people in Jane's childhood, though well-meaning like Bessie and not as, I would say, abusive as her aunt, um, still just like don't don't know how to extend like genuinely polite compliments like you don't need to include that she was never a great beauty 
anyway, that's my own little bone to pick with <laughs> that part. So that is chapter 10 of Jane Eyre. Um, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. As I said before, um, it helps me immensely and hopefully helps you immensely and makes it possible for so many other people to find this content that can aid them. So um, subscribe, like this video, comment down below if um, you know you are using these videos for a class or simply because you are curious about this novel of Jane Eyre. I hope to see you back around and thanks for watching. Bye.